brushes with a Zeno. But the infestation here on Galatia Cross marks the first major engagement since the Battle of Sirm, before the founding. News of the Zeno attack has whipped across the quadrant like wildfire. This is a stark reminder of how weak the faction truly are, and that the Templar Knights have lost half their forces. It will be hard to keep the peace and the calm after such an event. But will we manage somehow? Alright, let's see. Mmm, frag grenades 5 and 6. I don't think I have that at all. Let me go back. Alright, let's see. Uh, quickness is... I don't remember anything. Accuracy... I have only one point. Uh, range accuracy buffs defense grenades melee accuracy we'll go with that Alright, let's see what you have. You have Precision of Fire, you have Slash, Commander's Confidence is the uh, Defense and Accuracy buff. The Sending Guy. Clipping Order. Hinders on hit for 3 turns. Lineage, Memory, Spots, Weakness. Minus 5% Deflection, minus 3 Parry. Fire Commander. Clipping Order. Hinders on hit for 3 turns. Uh, 5% critical vulnerability, minus 3 dodge. Hmm. He's the captain, he should have buffs, but this seem kinda me. A new follower. Thanks for following Satrak75. But I don't think I want to go that way. When do I get the new ones? There we go. I think I'll go this way. Uh, honing, arc fire, blade wave. Go that one. Let's promote the Hydra two. New armor. Precision fire one. Unlocks new talents. Now palant charge four. New weaponry. New armor. Uloto, new war gear. Hmm. Oh, where should I go? And so many things. So many points to spend. Alright, let's try that one. That's all the points I have, so time for leveling up. Uh, Alright, I have one point to spend. Blade Wave uh, uses two per weapon and nine hit. Two melee accuracy, plus six damage. What is this? Hmm.
Uh, what? Yes, let's take that. We'll see. Alright, I have 13 out of 14 slots. Do we have a new armor? Level 5, level 5, no new armors. Uh, heavy plasma. Okay. Captain's blade. Alright, I guess I can put some... Let's see... I can only put the level 1. 1 to accuracy, 2 to range accuracy, 2 damage... Uh, 2 to melee accuracy, plus 1 parry... We'll take the parry... Alright, you... What the hell are we doing with you? Multiple things, apparently. You are the... No, not the scout, you are the soldier. Let me see... Long Leviathan uses strength plus gunnery. Um, Overwatch, yeah. Overwatch 4, awesome. Overwatch is the best. You have everything, okay. Uh, let me see, actually. What's your armor? Warpath Leviathan. 34 armor, less deflection. Uh, Plus 2 accuracy, plus 6 damage, that's pretty good. Long Leviathan is the best we have right now. And this doesn't matter actually. So, we have the smallest one possible. Plus 8 damage, Bullseye Lock. Uh, plus 2 range accuracy, plus 4% auto block. Eh. Okay, I think you are good. We need to find better stuff for you, but for now you are good. Engineer! Go Engineer! Range Defense, Counter Attack... Uh, you need a better capture, because that took forever last time. You have the best armor. Don't have the best weapon. Let's remove that. And use the best weapon, I guess. Good. The scout! Yeah. Hmm. Crisis damage multiplier. Uh, hmm. Ooh, headshot. Cool. You have the best armor, you have the best sniper rifle, armor gun, let no one cares. Those are both crappy. Good enough. So many soldiers. Uh, scout, 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 scout. So, 
quickness. Take some stealth. You have a lot of piercing fire. Field of focus, F only bus. Yeah. Let's go for some better sensor kits. We have the needle repeater. Which is... Light, 2 AP to attack, quickness and gunnery. Quickness and gunnery, okay. I guess that will do then. Don't care about the melee. We're good. Soldier, uh, let's see. Heavy Leviathan, strength and gunnery. Everything else is locked. We'll put some overgoats. Good. And the Hydra. The Hydra has Hydra Cannon, Strength and Gunnery. can take 5, I can take 2, and everything else is locked, so we'll do that. Um, okay, I don't have any better, I need to unlock more, I guess. You don't use that at all, so let's see if we can get something better. Plus 60 max hit, plus 1 MP. Yeah, sure. Alright, that will do. I think there is a, there is a um, way to go to a bridge when you talk to people, but I don't remember. I think it's automatic. I don't think you do it uh, manually. Don't see anything else, so we'll deploy, I guess. There we go. Time to speak to people. The Functionites are looking for Templars for reassurance. Two Templars. Yes, the people need to see and know the strength of the Templar Order. They need to be reminded that we stand by them and fight for their freedom and protection. However, we must be gentle. We are their champions, not their masters. They have nothing to fear from the Templar Order. We must remember the history of the Star Traders people, who have come out of hundreds of years of oppression in many cases and enslavement. The guild was a cruel master, and they did not spare the lass. Once they were the champions, our ancestors looked to them as heroes and leaders. That distrust is embedded in the psyche of our people. How did the Narvidians control the guild? The same spring that fed the guild's meteoric rise was the maker of their downfall. In the time between, we have come to know that the guild discovered a cache of ancient Narvidian technology. At the time, the Narvidians, the most powerful and insidious enemies, were unknown to the galactic core. They are something older and more evil than the Xeno, a machine-based life form, skilled in the genetic manipulation and the arts of subterfuge and war. I don't even know about this case. The guilds discovered discovery unleashed an age of sudden technological revolutions, all on the backs of the Narvidian secrets. With their new power, the guild united the factions and the galactic core expanded, 
at an astonishing rate. Among their breakthroughs was the secret to faster than light communication. It was through the use of the FTL planetary communication network that the Narvidians infiltrated and eventually came to control the guild. Recognizing the strength, respect for freedom and will of the Star Traders people, the Narvidians saw us as a grave threat. They set about isolating, subjugating and destroying the Star Traders, clans and worlds. Backstory. Cool. Love backstory. Let's go speak to the pilot. Which is tiny because he, he's not in an actual battle suit. <laughs> Let's see. Has the news from Galantia cross spread? The faction colonies are linked by the spirit trade, commerce, and the constant flow of star trading captains. The news have spread before the fighting was over. It has reverberated across the quadrant like a shock wave. There has been panic and rioting on many worlds. Why the panic? We were able to defeat the Zeno. The very presence of the Zeno instills fear into the factions. It is the promise that they are still near, that they may come out of the void at any moment. And they know that the Templars are only one warship. The three Terox Zeno cruisers we faced in the Battle of Sirm destroyed the Aira Prima. What will stop them from striking again? The people look to us for protection. Yes, the Templars are a symbol of our strength, our freedom, and our people's defiance in the face of great odds. No one has forgotten the part the Templars played in the Galactic War. But we are isolated from the main fleet of the Exodus, and we Templars are few. They will be reassured as the Reichardt and Moklumne militaries grow in strength. Together, we will be able to protect our growing quadrant. What of the rumors that the Star Traders smuggled out Xeno artifacts from Galantia Cross? Anywhere there is trade, there is a black market. During the invasion of Galantia Cross, there was unavoidable a lot of human and Xeno contact. Water. We destroyed every ounce of Xeno material we could recover, but it's guaranteed that profiteering star traders or smugglers sold Xeno artifacts that they recovered. Likely, many are fake or so damaged that they are not dangerous. Prince Tarquin's forces reported that they apprehended and jailed two star trader merchants who were illegally trading artifacts. Soon they like execute these people. If they are that dangerous, that seems a little short-sighted to sell them to get some money temporarily. What assignments do you have for my battle force, Major? The news of the Xeno invasion of Galantia Cross has caused a great stir throughout the quadrant. My apologies, Major. Invasion? You must understand how the other colonies regard the event, Captain. Xenos poor pods touched down on the cold and entire cities were wiped out. It was an invasion. Yes, sir. The trouble has been especially bad on Reichardt Prime. There have been violent riots and some sectors of cities fell into martial law for some time. Prince Alexander Reichardt has requested that we send a squad of Templars planet side to quell the unrest and rebuild the sense of security. Uh, what can you tell me about the patrol duty on Reichardt Prime? Both Prince Alexander and Prince Tarquin have requested Templar presence on Reichardt Prime. Well, we held Tarquin before. We'll send two squads to the world surface and put you on parade. You'll be seeing the major cities and the largest population centers. Do not underestimate the power of the Leviathan battlesuit. The Reichardt citizens need to be reminded that we fight for their safety and that we will meet the Xeno with fire and steel. And my squad has been selected because... You were the victors on Galantia Cross. You broke the invasion, Templar. Yes, it is a political move. 
but the match needed one. While you are there, Templar, I need you to be aware of a dangerous claim that Prince Alexander has voiced. He has claimed that the rioting on Rikard Prime, which was the most violent in the continent, was fueled by Muklumnue spies and money. The Muklumnue would not. There is a festering feud. Feud? Feud? Hmm, maybe feud. Wait, life is feudal. So it could be feud. I don't know. Over the ownership of Rikard Prime, our sources warn that Prince Damain of Moklume may start a duel of assassins with Rikard in an attempt to claim ownership a of the planet. Follower. Thanks for following... Strahikar. This is madness. We must build our new home together, not ritually kill each other's leaders. This is humanity, in a nutshell. The factions have their way, and the laws were laid down by Salum himself. Hopefully it will not come to that, but you must be on the lookout. If the rumors that Maklumnue has a hand in this is true, we must know. That's a lot of dialogue. Wow, I need more water. This is why I don't play games that require me to read a lot. At least out loud. It's tiresome. Alright. How could such trouble spark so quickly? The factions are united by a strong flow of commerce, spice, trade and travel. Before the fighting was over, word had spread to every colony in the quadrant. Which was to our disadvantage. Because the first news that arrived was that Galantia Cross was being invaded. And not that the Templars had quashed the Xenoforce. There's still great fear in the people of the Terox Xeno who attacked the colony hives. Some of the refugees arriving from the void of space come with tales of other Terox activity in the area. Fearful and wanting their faction leaders to take decisive action, people took to the streets in protest. When has that ever helped? Which was the spark that started the riots on many of the worlds? Okay, let's do that. I'm also attaching the Paladin Mira Ridan to your unit. She's an inspirational leader. Her presence and words will remind her the citizens. Okay, cool. New person. Rikard Prime. Ruled by Prince Alexander of the Rikard Syndicate. This will not be an easy duty. It weighs heavily on my shoulders and those of my squad. We all know that there is great need in the Quadrant. But to placate the Rikard princes who have been stationed here. Somewhere safe. We all look forward to the end of this and the return to active duty. These guys are hard asses. Alright. Let me... Take a five minute break and I'll be back uh, with more Templar Battle Force.